Tonight, since last summer, we have brought you a number of different WSAZ investigations centering on the head of West Virginia's Department of Transportation, a man by the name of Jimmy Riston. And tonight, he is at the center of another one. This time, a traffic stop in his state-issued vehicle with police radio traffic referencing erratic driving and possible DUI. So, I asked the governor about the secretary's latest bump along a troubled road. In West Virginia, there are members of Governor Justice's cabinet, secretaries that serve at the highest level over state agencies. And one of those is the head of the Department of Transportation, Secretary Jimmy Wriston. If he looks familiar, it's probably because since last July, he's been at the center of multiple WSAZ investigations. From reporting on state highways contracts being awarded to the company that employs Secretary Riston's son, to Secretary Riston allowing his cousin, Alan Reed, to continue working as number two of the agency for weeks after an employee came to Riston about inappropriate behavior she was experiencing from Reed. Now Wednesday, WSAZ received these pictures and this video showing officers with a state car pulled over along I-77 in Charleston Tuesday night. WSAZ has confirmed that vehicle was being driven by Secretary Riston. We've also obtained radio traffic where you hear officers talking to each other about what led up to the traffic stop. Measured any units to respond to the area of Ruffner and Tom Boulevard. I'm an off-duty officer following a vehicle, blue in color, Sierra Alpha 005698 DUI. They just turned on to Ruffner off a of Boulevard. Metro 6, he just hit a curb there in front of the car wash there on Ruffner. Correction Morris, he's hit multiple curbs and blowing through stop signs. Turned right onto the interstate, sir. He's still swerving. Sir, he went into the grass in the turn. He's all over the road. I'm attempting to make a stop. He's going to stop. 97.6 mile marker. Measured all units reference that all the way through the UI on 77 southbound. That vehicle has been stopped by the Charleston PD. Disregard bullet. Charleston police confirming they conducted that traffic stop involving Riston Tuesday night. But Riston was not charged or cited for any traffic or criminal offense at the time. In a statement Wednesday, the department telling us, quote, due to the circumstances surrounding the traffic stop, an internal investigation has been opened to determine if Charleston Police Department policies were followed appropriately. When we followed up, asking if a field sobriety test or preliminary breath test were given during the traffic stop, we were told that's part of the internal investigation. On Wednesday, I immediately hopped on the governor's weekly press call to ask him about the situation. Uh, governor, this morning I received a report that the Department of Transportation Secretary Riston uh, was driving a state vehicle last night when he was pulled over for a DUI in Charleston. Um, we have video and photos that have been sent to us. Uh, the person who sent that to us also says that uh, Secretary Riston was allowed to be picked up by someone and not charged. We have reached out to CPD. They would only say that they are looking into it right now and they can't release anything further. Is that accurate? Is the secretary still on the job? Have you spoken to him? And what does your office have to say about the head of the Department of Highways uh, allegedly driving a state vehicle under the influence and what looks like an attempt to cover it up? Well, first of all, uh, there is no attempt to cover anything up around here, at least uh, to my knowledge about anything. From what I was told, you know, uh, uh, you know, Secretary Riston was pulled over and then let go and let continue to drive. And so, so if that be the case, uh, I, I'm sure the police, you know, did their job, did their job properly. And, uh, and, and from that standpoint, to just say, to say he was pulled over and he was issued a DUI or whatever like that, from, from what I know right now, that's not the case. But you know how I feel about stuff like this, and, uh, and we'll get to the bottom of it for sure. So since the governor's comments to us this afternoon that you just heard, WSAZ has confirmed through sources that Riston was not allowed to drive away from that scene. We've reached back out to the governor's office for a response, and we're told that they didn't have that information, but they would contact Charleston police. We've also reached out to the Department of Transportation and Secretary Riston directly for comment, but have not heard back. We've also sent the city of Charleston a request for all body cam and dash cam video and documents or reports, but that request has been denied, citing an investigation that's now underway.